Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Frank Cuban from Queen Games, and he's here to talk about Risky Adventure. Yes, Risky Adventure, family game. Uh, it's a dice rolling game for two to four players, eight plus, and it's about 60 minutes, so it's a bit longer. So what we're going to do here is we are all a group of adventurers. Everybody mm -hmm. chooses one color, and we're going to try to dig up artifacts, which are these tokens. We're getting equipment, which are these cards that help us getting more and easier artifacts. And we're going on group expeditions, having a little race till the end to get the most points. So how do we do that? Normally, you would take the dice, you roll once, and then everything that you can claim gets some little combination on the cards, or it's uh, on top of those cards. So what do you have to roll for? But it would be too easy to just roll once and then say, okay, I want to claim this, I want to claim that. So that's why you have those three adventurers with you. So before you actually roll, you're gonna place your guys whatever you want to roll for. And that's the only thing you can claim afterwards, even if you did something else. So let's go there, let's go there, and I don't know. Let's go. I only have three. This is the yellow dude. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> one person at a time. Yes, one person at a time. So if it's my turn, I place my dudes and said, okay, that's what I want to roll for. And I take my dice. And a roll. So and now I'm trying to match whatever I can. So actually lucky roll, so I could either claim this one, taking the extra trouble card and the can. So I could claim this one, or I say, okay, maybe... You don't have two foods, so you can't claim the I artifact. can't claim that. But or you could claim... I could claim this, but then I lose this one. But there's one mechanic which normally you would have a clock. So clocks are there for, you can spend a clock and just turn one die at a side that you want to. So in this case, I could say, okay, I want to do this. I'm short of one X and a shovel, so I spend a, a clock, would turn the die onto the right side, and now I can claim two things in one go. Instead of one. <laughs> so this one dude goes home empty-handed. This dude brings back this gem artifact, which gives me immediately two points. Uh -huh. I get a clock token back, so well then. Uh, and I take this onto my hand, onto my board. And after that, I advance on the expedition. I advance my token to the first place and get the reward that it listed A new on clock. the space. A new clock. So next turn, I can actually turn two spaces, two faces on my dice if I wanted to. Uh, next turn, though, if I wanted to start on the expedition again, I start from this turn onwards, so I go these. So that's why it's a race, depending on how fast players go. So, what can I do with those artifacts? And what are the um, equipment cards? So the idea is that you want to build a little machine that helps you getting artifacts in some of the areas easier or advance faster on the expedition. So that's why we have like these uh, green expedition cards, or equipment cards. What they basically say, as soon as you get the card, uh, you have a benefit. So in the jungle, I have to roll one X and a shovel less than is required. So in this case, I, uh -huh. only, I only have to roll three cans. There's a catch though, in this you see this little sarcophagus <laughs> on top of it, which means I first have to have one of those artifacts Before in my possession you can use... to actually activate it by placing it on top on the card, but then it stays for the rest of the game. And there are other cards that let me roll one less can or one less card. And this is a permanent one which it's you have every one, turn. Yes. And, but it can only be used once per turn? Once per turn, yes. yes. So you can't use it both here and here if you wanted to. You, yeah, you can. Yeah, you because can. in this time it's only um, viable at the jungle. Uh -huh, That's why. Of course. Uh, and then we have the bonuses, which are the red equipment cars. Those basically say every time you're successful in getting an artifact out of the sea or, or out of the desert, then you can choose to get either another point or get a clock for the next two. Then there was a little set collection, which is basically the uh, scarab which if you have a head part, it's just one point. If you have a bottom part, it's just one point. If you have a set, it's four points at the end of the game. So um, the way the expeditions work is the first one who reaches the last space, we get the four points there. Mm -hmm. And then we play till the end of the round, till the starting player's turn again. And everybody has one chance basically to get also to the last space to also claim those four points. After that- If everyone gets here, they all get the same yes, amount. Yes, right. After that, we change the expedition. So we're gonna start at the- start point of the next expedition. Ah, basically. so we're traveling in. We're traveling in, basically. Uh, and in every game, there's two out of these three will come in. Uh, so that's basically how the game works. And the game ends either if one of those piles is running out, completely empty, or we finish the second expedition. After that, we count up our points, and whoever has the most wins. 
Great. And how long does you said a 60 minute it's game? It's like 60 minutes, if you know it, like 45. Two to four players. Two to four players. Nice, fun. Lots of fantastic art. As risky Adventures from Queen Games.